What's going on guys, and today we're going to be reviewing the Lego Star Wars Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter, set 75301. It is 474 pieces and it retailed for 50 US dollars. This set came out this year and I gotta admit, I was not originally going to buy this, but I definitely say I like this better than the 2018 one. And it's better minifigure scaled. It's not as huge because the uh, 2018 one was really, really big. But yeah, I I have to say, I really do like this set. And before we get into the minifigures, we're going to take a look at the X-Wing. So, as you can see right here, the cockpit from the minifigure, it goes right there. There is no brick right there. It is a sliding piece, if I can show you right there. All right. So, as you can see, it has the sliding brick right there that you could put Luke Skywalker into the compartments right there and then close it. And it looks really nice, honestly. He does look really good in there. And then when we take him out, he comes up nice and easy. I really do like that. It looks nice. And also at the end of the video, we are gonna be doing a comparison between the 2018 X-Wing and this X-Wing. The only thing I would have to complain about this set is the back. As you can see, it gets really technical right there. As you can see, it's like showing. R2-D2 goes right there. But he does, there are two studs that he does go to and he comes out easily. So that is really neat right there. Um, and what's in, and also about this, when you pick it up, that is the only time your wings can do that. And when you put them down, they attach right back together. That is really neat. I also like these guns. They represent the uh, ship much better than the 2018 X-Wing. And that does look a lot better. They got two of these shooters in the back. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Fires like that. We we'll just put it right back in. And yeah, and the engines in the back aren't as big. That looks so much better than really huge engines that the 2018 one provided. And yeah, it looks super good. And I'm very proud of this set. It looks like 10 times better. Now let's get into the minifigures. So the first up on in the set is Luke Skywalker, as you can see. All right, so the 2018 one um, had the funky helmets. This one brought back the normal helmets, which I do like these helmets a lot better. Um, he comes with his blue lightsaber. He comes with his normal X-Wing fighter torso. Uh, some leg printing right there. No arm printing. Some back printing. And then he does have back facial print, which his goggles are peered up. And he has a mad face with his goggles up there. Looks really good. And yeah, that looks really nice. Next up, the, old, the whole reason I bought this set. I'm actually really proud I bought it. I love this X-Wing. But I got it for Princess Leia. I don't have a Princess Leia, surprisingly. And she's a $30 minifigure, which is really crazy to think about. But she comes with a, a pistol. Her cape right there it gets really stuck on, but it's got some printing on it, which is really nice. And it even has back printing. So that's really cool. It's very detailed. Um, She has some torso print on uh, in the front, some back torso print, which they got really detailed right there. No arm printing, some um, skin, or skin, or like light skin color. Um, I love this hair piece with the buns on the side, really nice. Uh, the face print is a normal female. And then we have the mad face print. And yeah, I do like that. I love that minifigure. That minifigure is something I've, I've wanted for a while now. And then next up we have General Dodonna. Which I do like that hair piece. Like it's a nice old man hair piece. It kind of looks like Einstein's hair, which is super duper cool. He comes with that face print, which actually looks like Rex a little bit, and it comes with Mad face print. He comes with a gray E11, which is really neat. Some to front torso print, no arm printing. Uh, some back torso print, and then some leg printing, which it is very detailed. No back leg printing. That's fine. All right. And the final minifigure you get in the set is R2-D2. It's just the standard R2-D2 silver toning to the head. Um, this basic um, to our front printing. And yeah, nothing really to talk about R2-D2. 
colors. Looks great and really nice. And the set's still up for retail. If you do want to pick it up, pick it up definitely. And yeah, I'm going to grab the 2018 X-Wing and we're going to compare that for a second. Okay, so don't mind this part. This is just lighting that I added. If you guys don't remember, I added lights to the ship. But as you see, there is a significant size difference. This cockpit is has a chair and it is a lot bigger. This one is a lot smaller and just has that, which I do like that better. Um, this is, I don't like the back. That back looks a lot better. But the um, part where R2-D2 goes in is a lot better. As you can see, there's none really for him to stick on other than one stud. Uh, the engines aren't as big, which is really nice. Um, the guns look a lot better on the 2021 or 2021 one than the 2018 one because you have these. But yeah, other than that, I have to say, I like this one a lot better. I thought I wouldn't, but yeah, I the out of the two Luke's X-Wings I have, this one's definitely my favorite. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.